Today we're going to install pod lights where the halogens used to be in these retro KC lights. Want to find out? Keep watching and know we're not just swapping bulbs. So first thing we just got to remove them. Just take off these outside retaining rings and you can see I actually have four up here. These two middle ones are actually KC's. These two outside ones are just knockoff brands. They're same size and everything. Um, and I don't have them all hooked up because they just draw way too much. If I had all these 100 watts um, halogens lined up, they would draw about 35 amps to, to run them all at once, which, you know, on a standard truck like this with a 60 amp alternator, you know, more than half of your capacity is just on backup lights, way too much. So we're just gonna take this out. So all I've ever really been running is these two outside ones, but you can see these cheaper ones they actually, you see a nice one. Yeah, well, that one has a, a serrated inside, but these cheaper ones, the chrome started peeling off. So I think at one point I painted them white and that didn't look good. I painted them phony chrome and that just turned to gray powder. So the last time I painted them, I turned them to red, thinking that maybe it would kind of put a red hue out, but it didn't really. So let's pop these lens housings out and let's go modify them. I'll lose a little teeny screw. Ah, uh, didn't it? Nice. So this is the housing the um, for the fake, you know, KCs. The real KCs look just like it. And you have, this is called an H3 bulb that just goes in from behind and a little set screw holds it in. And you just got one positive lead and the ground just connects to it. And these work great. Um, they just draw so much dang electricity. I can, you know, and you can actually just buy an H3 bulb and stick it in and be done with it. The problem is, is LED has one major flaw and that is it only likes to put light out in one direction and that's straight out and so all of these bulbs that you buy aftermarket these led h3 bulbs they have to fit through this little hole to slide in because some housings don't actually have a front removable cover a lot of housings don't especially these days they're all plastic so you can only insert them from the back side and so consequently well, consequently they put them on the sides and everything else to try to reflect them off of there and you get horrible beam patterns. I've had them, you get like splotchiness. You know, you go buy, you can buy a bulb for 10, 15, 20 bucks and you get splotchiness. It just looks horrid. It's so distracting. You don't just get a smooth beam of light, but their Achilles heel of just being able to spit out light in one direction makes them also great. And that's where these come in. These are cheap. You can pick these up. I've used these aux beams for, the light bar I did in the front of my truck that I did the remote control where it moves up and down. Use these. The aux beam have been great. They've been holding up fantastic. So I decided to go with them again. They're cheap. There's cheaper ones, but it's, these were like nine bucks a piece. And they put out so much more light than these. These, might, I mean, these put out a lot of light, but they kind of spread it out everywhere. These put out usable light directly where you kind of want them in a more focused beam. So the idea is I just need to put this in here. It doesn't sit back far enough by itself. So we're just gonna cut some relief cuts in here so this slides back. I already did one, um, played around with it for a while trying to make it fit. So now I kind of have an idea of exactly what and where I need to cut. So we will just cut the same things out. And if you're wondering why I don't just, you know, these come with mounting brackets, everything else, you can just mount these on the light bar on the back. And you're wondering why I don't do that, it's because it looks ridiculous. They're way too small. Um, so it just looks, it looks clowny. It looks ridiculous just to have these little teeny things, but they put out so much light. That's about it. Make sure the front kind of front fits on. I'll just leave these little pieces of metal on there in case in a hundred years somebody finds these and they can't believe I retrofitted them and they want to put them back and weld them all back together. They can. So now I have to kind of mount it. This one I tied a piece of wire to but there's also a mounting. There's a captured nut. Let's pull that back out. Oh, wow I got that one tight. They have a captured nut in the housing right here that the, um, the bracket slides into. So I just drilled a hole and took one of the nuts and just kind of ran it in there to hold it back. So we'll do the same thing.
as far as looks, it kind of keeps that, it keeps that, you know, retros, 70s, 80s, 90s look that I kind of want, and it'll look cool. I, you can't really, unless, you, if you're looking at it for just a second, you're not going to be able to tell that you have a little teeny, you know, pod light in there, but you get the look of a big old light without the uh, the drawbacks of halogen and you get the LED functionality of just, I mean, these are so dang bright, it's unbelievable. I'll show you a difference between a halogen versus just one of these cheap little $9 lights um, here in a second. I actually think they turned out pretty good. I think they look pretty cool. Still got that retro look. I could have if I was really wanted to. Um, I could have spray painted everything in there, like a phony chrome silver, and then the, that wouldn't have stood out at all. Or I could have hand painted in between all those, you know, in between the reflectors, you would have still had the uh, six dots, but I think they actually turned out pretty dang good looking for what they are. And they're gonna put out, they put out so much more light. When it gets dark here, I'll show you guys. That's LED. Ah, oh, it's bright. Right everywhere. Fence. I have the exposure locked. I mean, now let's try the uh, halogen. Pretty dark over here. There's dark spots. I've got one beam clear out there that is really traveling far because it's focused that way, but it's putting out so much less light. Um, this, that halogen would be better as like a headlight, you know, just going super far out there. It actually puts out a ton of light. It's just uh, ways out there. And just for fun, I'll show you the remote adjustable light bar. Through my tinted window, but what I see backing up right now, look at that, LED. Look how bright that is. Are you sleeping? Do you want to um, play frisbee? No. No. Go ahead and sleep. Go ahead and sleep. We won't. We don't have to go. We don't have to go play frisbee. What's that? Frisbee? <laughs>